Anybody who walks in and goes, look at her shoes. <laughs> look at those shoes, they're amazing. Right? Yeah, they're awesome. They're good times. Yeah. We're, we're just sitting here chatting. We're talking food. We're talking chopped. We're Chopped. talking Chopped Canada. Yes. That premiered last week on the Food Network. Watched it. The proof is in the pudding, I believe it was titled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Crazy combinations. Have you never seen Chopped? Give our viewers a, a general overview about what Chopped Chop Canada is. Basically, Chopped Canada is the same brand that you see coming from America with Canadian talent, Canadian hosts, chefs, judges. Dean McDermott is Canadian as well. Um, but basically, it's four competitors start out. They go through an appetizer course, a main course, and a dessert course. They have a fixed amount of time to be able to make these dishes with these obtuse ingredient combinations inside of a secret basket. And at the end of the day, the winner gets 10,000 bucks. You know, every episode, we give away 10,000 bucks. Give us an idea of what the window is of shooting one episode. Is it back to back to back to back? Do they get no break between this 30, 30 minutes for the appetizer, or 20 minutes for the appetizer, 30 minutes for the main, then 20 minutes for the dessert round or whatever it is? Well, okay, honestly, I can't talk too much about that and give away too many secrets, but I will let you know that it is a grueling, grueling single day of it's shooting. It's a single day. Okay, fair and enough. And it is painful, yeah. I bet it's painful. Yeah. But, the, but their actual time limits are actual time actual, limits. When yes, they're like, there's no, time's yeah. up, hands up, step away. There's no faking the time. They are actually cooking those 20 minutes. So some of your uh, esteemed panel of judges joining you, uh, Lynn Crawford, uh, Vikram. Vikram from, from, from Vancouver here. area here, Chuck Hughes. Who's also uh, been on the there's, show? There's many, you know, it's an amazing panel. So, you guys are sitting there, and somebody opens a basket, and it's got, I don't know, green jello, quail's egg, and rabbit, <laughs> and you're like, okay, gross. <laughs> we cringe, but they really cringe because right. they have to cook it, you know? Yeah, it's really difficult, hey? Very intimidating. It's intimidating as a judge to think, oh my God, I'm going to have to try and eat this thing. I hope it's good. But even more intimidating as a challenger to have to impress the judges who are really discerning because, you know, we're very mindful that we're giving away $10,000. And some deal. people, yeah, it's a big deal. And some people are giving up a lot of personal sacrifices to come or they're going to use that money to get their kid out of the hospital. The like, competitor in the, oh in the premier round. Forgot to turn on her oven. I know. She's making bread. I know. And the judges are like, she hasn't hit start. It was it was traumatic as a viewer. It was traumatic. So okay, your yeah. first appearance is tomorrow. Tomorrow. Food Network. What time are we watching? 10 p.m. 10, 10 p.m. And you can uh, check out uh, Food Network Canada online, of course. Uh, your uh, favorite part of the of the chop challenge that you've witnessed so far do you have a moment that you're like without giving too much away can you can you give us a moment oh, you know there's so many moments what is really awesome about the show is every episode is totally different mm. because the judging panel is completely different the the kind of ensemble cast of all of the chefs are completely different. And you see like last week's episode, there's a, clearly a villain that the public chose was a villain. Totally. And, yeah, right? Oh, he was <laughs> so cocky. It was unbelievable to watch. I was, we were yelling at the TV. And there's- Cause there's, he was like, I got this. There's so, so much winning. more of that kind of stuff to come. Really? And it's so dynamic. Every, I, I would love coming to set cause every day was totally different. Do you root for somebody? Do you find yourself, you try and stay neutral? Do you just try, try and be the impartial? Well, I mean, I'm here. Human, but I, at the end of the day, I have to be a judge. I'm very mindful that I'm giving somebody $10,000. So I want to make sure that we get it to the right person on the merits of, you know, creativity, food quality, and taste, right? Right. So what do you think as a chef, from your perspective, what's more difficult, the time limit or the ingredients? It's the whole package. You can't, se you can't separate it. Yeah, no, it's the whole package. And don't forget, there's lights. People are not accustomed to being on TV. It's right. a lot of people, a lot of cameras. So it's very intimidating environment. You know? Might we ever see like the judges going head to head one day on Chopped Canada? You may someday, but I don't know. Possibly. We'll start it right in. <laughs> oh, no, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so you heard it here first on BT Vancouver. Roger, thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. We love yeah, it. Foodnetwork.ca. It is Chopped Canada, and it is a very cool program. Catch this man's first episode coming up tomorrow. All right, we're going to take a quick break. 8.47. We're back in a moment on BT. I still, you got to give me, give me some goods. Come on, give me some goods. <laughs>